okay so let's talk about the implementation part so here as you can see i have defined three matrices b and a b and c so ultimately we are going to multiply a with b and final answer will be stored in c and since uh, i am taking i am using this particular variable n n must have some value before this particular statement so therefore in order to make this particular program user friendly i have taken value of n from the user and currently i am talking for only square matrices so therefore a and b both are of size n cross n so you can modify this let's say you can instead of this and you can have p right and instead of this and you can have p in that particular case also the matrix multiplication is well defined as we have discussed previously so the main thing is after line number nine three matrices are defined the memory is allocated but they don't have any values right so values will be garbage after this particular point the this particular line right so therefore we must have some valid values so therefore first we what we are going to do we are going to take values for the very first matrix or very first array right so for this like we have discussed two variables are required i and j that i is corresponding to rows and j is corresponding to column so first we will start with i is equal to 0 that means we are referring to column number 0 and j will go from 0 to n minus 1 so this first n elements are corresponding to 0 through correct right? and so on so after line number 17 we have valid entries for array a likewise after line number 25 we, we will have valid entries for second matrix or second array right and now values the remaining matrix the last one c so before we do any computation we will assign zero to the final matrix which is nothing but c matrix right so why we are doing this this will become more clear when we talk about the computation part the main part of this particular implementation so now this is the setup up to line 32 we have three matrices now in a we have first matrix in b we have entries corresponding to second matrix and now c is nothing but it's a final matrix which will contain the final answer and currently values are 0 0 for that particular matrix so c will have all the n square entries of c uh, uh, will be 0 right okay so now let's talk about the actual implementation part so let's understand this so now before we actually compute the answer corresponding to c we must reach to each and every location of c so for that this part is anywhere required so this is corresponding to row travels this is corresponding to column travels and ultimately we need to access each and every location of c matrix otherwise we can't put the correct final answer there right so this part is anywhere required the remaining thing is why do we require this part okay so this is nothing but definition of matrix multiplication right so what is the idea of matrix multiplication for each entry what we will do we will multiply first row of a with first column of b so as you can see here initially value of k is 0 so this is corresponding to first row so i am talking about the very first entry so for the very first entry i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 so therefore i am referring to c00 right c00 is equal to c00 plus so now you can understand why this initial value of c00 is 0 so if we don't put this then we can have garbage value here so that's why we are starting with zero right okay so now c00 is equal to c00 plus now value of k is zero so therefore we are referring to a i uh, and value of i is also zero so we are referring to i uh, zero a00 zero and b00 zero zero. now value of k will be incremented so the the main thing which you must notice is the row number here for matrix a and the column number for matrix b will remain as it is the only change is we are traversing in the left from the left to right direction in the case of a and from the top to bottom direction in the case of b because of this loop so after completion of this loop ultimately we will have exactly n multiplications like this and 
the repeated addition will give us the final answer for the very first location and then we will we will give decision for the very first entry of uh, matrix c and after this value of j will be incremented so now we will give decision for c 0 1 and so on right so if you understand the basic uh, definition of matrix multiplication then this is not that much difficult to understand the main idea is this right so we are in 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 each iteration we are going to multiply a i k with b k j and the only value of k will change remember i and j value of i and j will remain as it is and finally we are going to print the answer corresponding to matrix c so let's let's verify this code now so this is the output of the program and i have taken the elements from the same example as input and as you can see the final answer of c matrix is correct thank you